Good day everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we want to solve for x and y given the equation x plus y is equal to 6 which we'll call equation 1 and xy is equal to 36 which we'll call equation 2. Now this is a simultaneous equation and to solve for x and y, I would in the first equation make either of the variable the subject of the formula, meaning for the first one I could say let y be equal to 6 minus x. What I'm then going to do after this subject of formula is to replace the y in the second equation with 6 minus x making the second equation x into 6 minus x is equal to 36. I'll go ahead and open up this bracket. This is 6x minus x squared is equal to 36. If I multiply through by negative 1, this will give me negative 6x plus x squared is equal to negative 36. Now let's rearrange the left hand side. I'll have x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 36. If I add positive 36 to both sides, that turns the right hand side to 0, but then I have an addition of 36 on the left hand side. So the new equation will become x squared minus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. Now the simultaneous equation has been reduced to a quadratic equation which we will now check if it is factorizable or we have to use the general quadratic formula. Looking at the equation here, The factors of 36 such that when we add them together, I mean two factors of 36 such that when added together gives us 6 or negative 6, whichever the combination is, will make this quadratic equation factorizable. And the factors of 36 include 1 and 36 itself, includes 2 and 18 includes 3 and 12, includes 4 and 9, and then 6 and 6. There is no way you combine any of any pair in this combination here that will give you either 6 or negative 6. So this indirectly means that this equation is not factorizable. So we are going to use the general quadratic formula and the general quadratic formula is usually given as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And the formula for finding x is usually negative b, this b here, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is A, this is C, and then you divide all through by 2A. So if we compare this equation with this equation above, we can see that our A is 1, our B is negative 6, and our C is 36. So I'm going to substitute into the general quadratic formula to find X. So x is minus, it has a negative outside of the bracket, outside here. So we open a bracket and put our b, which is minus 6, then plus or minus b is minus 6, then squared minus 4 into a is 1, and c is 36.
then divide through by 2 into a is 1. Let's tidy this up. This gives us x is equal to minus times minus here is positive. So we have 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is negative 6 squared is 36. Then minus minus 4 times 36 is 144. Then divided by 2. So here x is equal to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 144 is negative 108. Then divided by 2. We need to work on negative 108. The 108 can be expressed as 36 times 3. So we can say this is 36 times negative 3. And then we replace that inside of here so that we now have x is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 times negative 3 then divided by 2. We can separate this square root here can be separated into square root of 36 by law of sorts times the square root of negative 3. And we can also tidy that up. Square root of 36 is 6, so we have 6 root 3. 6 root negative 3. Meaning x is actually equal to 6 plus or minus 6 root negative 3, then divided by 2. Also, negative 3 can be written, the square root of negative 3 can be written as the square root of 3 times the square root of minus 1. The square root of minus 1 is i and then root 3. So we have root 3 times i. So x is 6 plus 6 root 3 i. The solution we'll arrive at with this problem is going to be a complex one. It is not a real value, but then it is also a solution. So if the problem requires for you to solve for all values of the problem, then even the imaginary value is also a value. So dividing this, we are going to separate this into 6 divided by 2 plus or minus 6 over 2 or 6 root 3 i over 2. This is 3 and this is also 3. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 i. So we can separate this into two separate values, meaning x1 is 3 plus 3 root 3 i, and then our x2 is 3 minus 3 root 3 i. But then remember in the beginning we substituted for y, you know we say y is here 6 minus x so we have 6 minus x so for x1 we are going to say y is equal to 6 minus x1 which is 6 minus x1 now is this 3 plus 3 root 3i three so we can call this y1 and then this is 6 minus 3 opening the bracket minus 3 root 3i three giving us y1 equals 3 minus 3 root 3i three and then we'll do the same for y2 so y2 when x2 we already know the value of x2 
so y2 is equal to 6 minus and then this is 3 minus 3 root 3 i y2 is equal to 6 minus 3 minus times minus this minus times this minus is positive so we have 3 root 3 i tidying that up gives us y2 equals 3 plus 3 root 3 i so we have four values for this problem so we can say x1 y1 is equal to 3 plus 3 root 3 i comma then 3 minus 3 root 3 i and then x2 y2 is equal to 3 minus 3 root 3 i then 3 plus 3 root 3 i so there you have it those are your final answers i hope you've enjoyed this video kindly hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so and i'll see you in my next video